everyone. Today I'm here to tell you about why I was dared to shave my head, how it changed my life forever, and how it continues to change my life today. It was a sunny morning in Buffalo, New York. It was a Sunday. We were enjoying breakfast on the patio. Well, a friend may have merely suggested that I shave my head. And by suggested, I mean dared. I don't take well to a dare. Challenges don't do well with me. I am one for winning. If it's a bottle of hot sauce, I'll chug it. Don't question me. <laughs> so I decided to take my decision virally. I took it to Twitter, and I decided to see how Twitter felt about the situation. Well, it's sponsored. They really encouraged the situation. Shave my head. Goodbye hair. Hello, new me. So I went with it. I was left to encourage myself. Cue vodka tonics at 10 a.m. It happens. Don't judge me. It was happy hour somewhere. <laughs> so we had vodka tonics. We thought about it. We pondered it. We made it happen. We visualized our life as how it could be. How people would visualize me and how I could possibly be a wallflower in the background. I was OK with that. It kind of had been the situation in my life. Preconceived notions, let's throw them out the window. I didn't really need them in my life anymore anyway. So I took the clippers. With a few quick passes, it was gone. Everything I had felt about myself was blown out the window. And look at me. Really? Are you kidding me? What did I just do? All my hair, gone, wiped off the face of the earth. I'm bald. OK, fine. We're moving on to the next scenario. Everything I had expected my life to be, it was gone, wiped out from beneath my feet. Seven year relationship and an engagement broken, done. I was left in a city, vulnerable. I was left with bald me. So I embraced it. I learned how to manicure my eyebrows. That's really what it boiled down to. <laughs> I had no hair, so eyebrows were what was left. Danger, stranger danger. I met Lindsay and Jeremy in Los Angeles. I met Allison for drinks in the bar. We had a great time. I told her to look for the only bald, bald girl in the bar, so she did. She told me not to climb a tree. And I did. And I highly encourage that you do the same. It's really what it boils down to in life. Just make decisions. Do them. Excuse judgment. Don't take life too seriously. Play. Because I had the balls to email a TED fellow, I had sushi with Gever Tully of the Tinkering School. And it was amazing. And I was left with nothing but play. I played in the snow. I had a fantastic time. I built snowmen. And I did my own thing. It's what it was. We grew up. I learned to love myself. I learned that I am me. I am beautiful. And even though I'm bald, who cares? My personality makes me me, and I rock for being me. I'm a minimalist. In April of 2011, I decided to pick up everything and move to Phoenix. So I did. That's what fit in my car. You see it in front of you. I took it with me. I've done amazing things and fabulous things throughout this growing process. I've been to an ostrich farm. They bite. It hurts. <laughs> I've also had awkward stages. Q Punk Rock Sunday, my hair decided that's what was going to happen. So I embraced it. Hello, one woman dance party in my living room. Why not make it happen? So I did it. And so I'm going to say to you, don't be afraid to share yourself with the world because you're a gift. Be you, be original, and be yourself. And tonight I'm going to leave you with this. Put a bad decision on your to-do list. Because why not? And I promise you, that is 100% my to-do list. Thank you, and have a great night. <laughs>